Today, let us learn about basic information of antibody drug conjugates. The ADC components consist of an antibody, a cytotoxic drug, and a linker that attaches the two. The linker portion of the ADC can be split into distinct modules as shown in the picture. I. The connection of the linker to the antibody. 2. The polarity of the linker. 3. The trigger that initiates the cleavage of the drug. And I. The self-emolative spacer that liberates the drug. Generalized mechanism of action of antibody drug conjugates. A. The ADC binds to the antigen on the target cell. B. The antigen ADC complex is internalized through receptor-mediated endocytosis and, in most cases, is transported from early endosomes to lysosomes. C. In the lysosome, internal conditions may destabilize the linker or MAB backbone causing the cytotoxic component to dissociate and circulate freely in the cytoplasm. Most cytotoxic components of current X either bind to the minor groove of DNA and induce strand breakage D or bind to tubulin, resulting in microtubule disruption E. F. Both processes lead to apoptosis. The two most common naturally occurring amino acids that are used to attach the linker drug to the antibody are cysteines and lysins. Attachment chemistry is limited to those reactions that are either selective for a primary thiol or a primary amine unless unnatural amino acids are incorporated into the antibody. The overall polarity of the linker plays a large role in the pharmacokinetics, potency, DAR, and efficacy of the ADC. Many of the commonly used linkers and cytotoxic agents used with it are inherently hydrophobic. A polyethylene glycol or sulfate group was introduced into the linker portion of the ADC, and DAR ratios of up to 9 were formed without appreciable aggregation or loss of affinity to the target antigen. The trigger refers to the portion of the linker that initiates the cleavage and ultimate release of the cytotoxic drug inside the targeted cell. There are three trigger release mechanisms that have been utilized for the preparation of X that have entered the clinic, a hydrase and hydrolysis, a desulfide reduction, and a depeptide linker cleavable by lysosomal proteases. The self-emolative spacer is the portion of the linker that chemically undergoes a rapid and spontaneous intramolecular reaction that liberates the free drug following activation by the trigger. For example, if a heteroatome is released by a trigger in close enough proximity to a carbonyl, a highly favored 5 or 6 membered ring will form and release the free drug. In the case of the depeptide linkers, a paraaminobenzyl group is initially released following enzymatic cleavage and a 1,6 elimination of the PAB group releases the free drug. The drug payload on the ICs that are currently undergoing human clinical evaluation includes monomethyloristatin E and monomethyloristatin F. The structure of doxorubicin attached to an antibody via hydrase and linker to form compound 1. The structure of 1 Deutschmark and 4 Deutschmarks connected to the antibody via disulfide linker to form compound 2 and 3. With the approval of Adstress and the more than 20 X currently undergoing human clinical trials, X are becoming a viable method for selectively delivering a highly cytotoxic agent to tumor cells while sparing the normal tissue. Future research in this area will continue to produce highly selective and potent X that will target specific tumor antigens.